Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can implement data layer on a new Shopify website and you will get all the e-commerce event in Google Tag Manager data layer. So let's get started. Guys, this is our website and we need to install data layer. So if you don't understand data layer, then let me explain. So if I go on the Google Tag Manager preview and just connect with my website and you can see this google tag manager is successfully connected okay so if i open one product so it must be a view item event okay but if i go back in the google tag manager you can see there is no view item or view content event or fire so that's why we need to enable data layer okay so just we need to implement few uh, javascript code on our website backend so that's why first of all we need to go on the backend of the shopify store so this is actually the backend of our shopify website and we need to go on the online stores and then we need to go on this three dot and then edit code okay so we need to implement a snippet called like here the snippet is here so just we need to add new snippet and paste the name which is data layer all pages and then done and we need to do just paste a javascript code here and we need to replace our gtm code okay so gtm code actually this one we just copy it from here and we need to paste here okay so it's done and when you have done then we just need to save it also we need to do one thing we need to go on the theme.liquid again and we need to find the head tag the last head tag which is closing head tag and implement this data layer just connect that snippet to this theme okay and when you have done then save it and then we need to do one thing which is the data layer so actually we need to go on the checkout page of this website just close dates and go on the checkout page this is the checkout page and remember that we already implement our tag manager code okay so this is the tag manager code and we need to implement this code on the not there as a here so our code is now implemented and then save changes okay so when you have done so we are already implemented our code and uh, let's go to preview again and check it you can see we are now connected mode and this website is connected to our shopify store and let's check the data layer you can see this is now view item event and if i select data layer all the product information are here okay also if you want to check you can see simple data layer viewer you can see we are also able to see the data layer in here okay which is pretty good and now we need to check add to cart 
and if i go back here you can see add to cart it's not working right now okay but don't worry it will sometime takes few time it will work because we already implemented add to cart event with that okay but uh, it it should work uh, if i go on the view card uh, you can see the view card is here so add to cart is not working right now but i believe it will work okay so this is actually uh, how you can enable data layer and uh, this code you can find on online if you search google tag manager uh, for shopify data layer you will get that code so also uh, from now you can easily uh, make event uh, and if you want to see more video from me then you can subscribe to my channel because next couple of video i will show you how to uh, set up this kind of specific event easily so like view item add to cart checkout all the event i will uh, show you so that's it that's all for today if you found this video was useful then hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel my name is nasim and i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day